Welcome to the first module of many to come on the map reading and navigation bootcamp by Peter van Gaets. So in this first uh, assignment, uh, we'll be installing an important application called uh, OSMAND, stands for OpenStreetMaps on Android. Uh, however, it's also available on the Apple, uh, Apple platform iPhone. So go to the uh, Google Play Store or the Apple Store and download this application. It's free of cost. It's a very beautiful application with uh, lots of uh, features as we'll see. After we download, uh, you just open the app and uh, we'll do a couple of important configurations which I will guide you through right now. So open the app once available. Get started. By default, it will suggest to download the map of your current states. We can skip this for now, do this later. Uh, go to the main menu and uh, you will have the option there to download maps. In download maps, you go to Asia. In Asia, you scroll down to India. And in the India, let's uh, download the map of Himachal Pradesh. We'll start by the standard map, the first one. Uh, world overview map we can do a bit later again to in the interest of time so after doing this if we go back 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 to the main screen and we zoom out a little currently I'm located in Chennai again Taminale we'll do later thanks zoom out you'll see right that this specific states uh, the map has been downloaded offline is available on your phone so you don't need any mobile network connection uh, to basically uh, have access to this uh, map as you zoom in, you'll see different colors. Uh, you'll see the uh, kind of light green color here, which is cultivated land, the farmlands. Uh, the green, darker green is uh, forest. The gray zones are basically open meadows, alpine meadows and rocky areas. And we have the glaciers indicated in light blue. Uh, you can also see a few peaks, uh, villages, roads. And uh, as you zoom uh, deeper, like say, for example, if you zoom in a little on McLeod Gang, you will uh, see uh, even quite a few trails appearing. So from Darmakot, if we go up here and we can see the red, uh, sorry, the black dotted lines uh, going up, climbing up the hill, the Dolado range, basically. We can see waterfalls, we can see campsites, which are marked there, shelters along the way, basically. And uh, so if we go up, we can also see streams uh, marked there. Here we have Treehunt Hill, Treehunt Hill, a pretty uh, famous location. Zooming in again, we have uh, caves along the way, like a boulder cave, pretty famous. Uh, the Lakesh Cave, and then finally here uh, crossing the Dolador is the uh, Indrahar Pass. From there we cross over to the Chamba Valley uh, through a glacier initially. And then again, getting uh, joining a stream here into the valley. And as we go uh, down around the Kuvarasi Nala, uh, we come to the town uh, Kuvarasi in Chamba. So this is a beautiful map. Uh, you can put your phone in flight mode. No network dependency anymore. One important component which is missing here are contour lines. Contour lines are essential. Uh, so let's again go to download maps, Asia. India and uh, again to the same state of Himachal. <coughs> Excuse me, and let's get contour lines. <coughs> so for contour lines, you can either go for a complete subscription here of OSM and Live and more advanced version, or we can simply do a one time 200 rupee payment for the contour lines, which is very cheap and very essential. So a must have for any outdoor hiker. So we install this uh, plugin which will enable uh, contour lines basically in uh, OSM AMD. Let it install and then let us go back uh, to OSM again. Normally contours should be enabled now. So after that we can download the contour lines, which are pretty big, bigger than the standard map as they contain lots of information related to the elevation of the terrain it clearly uh, allows you to identify the altitude of every place on the map, uh, show you the ridges, the uh, major ranges, the valleys, uh, as well as the saddles. So in addition to contour lines, we'll also download the uh, hill shades, which kind of 
renders the topography of the terrain in a more readable format. So let this download continue. After downloading the contour maps, we can press OK. Now, uh, as you can see, if we zoom in again on the same uh, trail here, starting from McLeod Gang, as we zoom in into the terrain, you will see the contour lines coming up. So all these lines here in the background basically give you a clear idea of the uh, elevation. So for example, zooming in a little bit further here at, uh, say, this location here, which is a cafe, it seems uh, we're somewhere at uh, the major line here shown is 2600 meters. Every minor line between these 100 meter lines is uh, 20 meters. So this cafe specifically seems to be around uh, around 2500 meters, I guess. So as we go up, uh, one other optimization which we can do actually is changing the rendering a little bit. If we go to configure map, and uh, we go to map style here. We can probably change the map style to topo, which will render the contour lines voila, slightly more clear. So now uh, very clearly you can see the major lines, the thick ones uh, showing an increase of 100 meters in altitude and the small ones uh, showing basically a uh, 20 meter increase. So now you can clearly see as the trail goes up the mountain here, voila, here we have snow line cafe, as you climb uh, towards the top of uh, the dollar door, you can see wherever the lines are close to each other, like for example here below the Lakesh cave, uh, you actually go very steep up. Every uh, line is basically 20 meter of vertical elevation. Voila, here very close together the lines towards uh, the Jotan Wali Mata. And finally uh, getting into the glacier on the other sides of the Chamba Valley, getting down again. Uh, towards the valley here again you have a shelter so beautiful uh, application uh, showing a lot of valuable information for the outdoor hiker uh, please go ahead and install this app which will be needed for uh, many of the future assignments in this uh, course in addition to the base open street map and the contour lines one third thing we can do here is go again to configure map and we can import GPX files. GPX files are basically external uh, GPS recordings. So for example here, I'll uh, be importing the GPX file, which was the planning of my 2019 Himalayan trip across 120 high passes. So adding that on top of uh, OSM and contours gives you a lot of valuable information here. Voila, you can see the pink lines there, which uh, basically show uh, trails that were taken from various sources, as we will again learn during this course, uh, blogs and other various sources uh, relating to trails that show us the way how uh, to make our own way through the mountains. So this is it uh, with the first module. Stay tuned uh, to Instagram, to Facebook and to my blog ultrajourneys.org for uh, the following modules which will be related to maps of India, various useful maps uh, to plan your journey into the wild.